Alright guys, are you ready for this? <laughs> I don't think you're ready for this. Do you think they're ready? I don't know. I don't know. It's pretty big news over here. Good morning guys. So I don't know what is going on with my skin, but my face is like all sorts of unhappy today. So just go ahead and ignore all of this. <laughs> um, today is pretty similar to yesterday. Like um, we were saying yesterday, Miles has some work he has to do for work at home today. So he has been doing that most of the day. He also did get the um, first layer of paint on the kitchen cabinet under the sink so we get to see like come on what it will look like our finished kitchen all painted and finished and everything tonight um which i'm really excited i can't wait to show you guys and yeah i think i'm gonna probably start working on my wedding album a little more like i said the other day i only have two layouts left but they are gonna be pretty intense layouts because both of them are gonna have like a bunch of pictures like a lot i probably want to do like 10 by 10 grids on each page to get like because they're the two pages are our reception pictures so like kind of p pictures of our guests and like people dancing and just like you know having fun and so i kind of wanted to do a really big grid like two page spread of you know a bunch of little picture tiles to get all the pictures in i think that would be a really cool look and i also want to do the same idea for all the goofy pictures that i kind of also talked about the other day where I don't know, we just have a bunch of like, you know, pictures where someone's making a funny face or like, I don't know, they're just kind of goofy pictures from the day that I think are a really fun thing to include. So those are the two spreads I have to make, so they're going to take a little bit because I have to choose a lot of pictures for them, but um, yeah, that's kind of what I'm planning on doing with my day right now. The Munchkin and I are going to take a little walk around the yard and get some fresh air for a bit and then start on our work for the day. You guys, I'm so excited. I took Dakota outside, like I was saying, and I actually have a monarch caterpillar on my milkweed. This is exactly why I planted this plant to attract these little guys, and I finally got one. I wasn't thinking I was going to. I'm so excited. He's so cute. My mom uh, also has some milkweed, and her very first monarch caterpillar just, um, like the cocoon, I don't know the pr correct terminology, but like the butterfly just came out of the cocoon. And so she's been watching her butterfly kind of hang out all day. And so hopefully this little guy will make a nice little chrysalis and turn into a butterfly soon. I'm so excited. I thought like I had lost all hope for getting one of these guys. But there he is, just popped up today. I'm so excited, he's so, so cute. Literally, this is like what I've been looking for every single day in my garden. Like, I'm so pumped. I wonder if there's any one else. I never saw any of like the little butterfly eggs, but I guess they're hard to find. Also, the one thing I'm a little upset about, um, one of you actually suggested a um, like organic plant spray because this, as you can see, all the little yellow things around the stems, those are all aphids, I think. And there's also some black things that have kind of started coming in the last couple days. So I need to buy that and um, spray this before these guys kill my poor little milkweed. But, um, oh, and there's a cute little ladybug back there, if you can see that. Hello, we are just full of life today. Oh, I'm so excited about this guy. I am so excited. I turned off the camera and I just actually found a second little caterpillar. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I don't know, he won't focus on that guy. He might be a little too tiny. Can you get him? No, it's not gonna focus on him, but you can see him right there. Oh, I'm so excited. This is so exciting. I can't wait to tell my mom. She's gonna be so excited. <laughs> All right, so you guys are probably super tired of seeing my milkweed and my caterpillars, but there's actually like five on here and I cannot believe it. I literally thought I wasn't gonna get any this summer. So there's that guy. There's that guy. There's one was over here, but he was being pretty, he was moving a lot. So I think I lost him. I don't know where he went. Um, yeah, not sure where he crawled off to, but there's another little one over there. Right down there. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Oh, there's the guy that was moving. There he is. And he's like a little more yellowy than the other guys. Oh, they're so hard to focus on. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop showing you guys my caterpillars, but I'm seriously, I feel like a proud caterpillar mama. <laughs> Alright, so that's enough about my caterpillars. What did you think of my caterpillars? Very cool. They're so cute, right? They're so cute. I'm so excited. Like, that was like the one thing in my garden that I was the most excited about, like, doing. And because both my so mom. I'm proud of her for growing <laughs> caterpillar. Look, I got a mohawk. <laughs> both my mom and Miles' mom have milkweed in their gardens. And like, so I've been, so particularly last summer um, is when I really started like paying attention and kind of being interested in gardens and since I knew I was gonna have my own garden. Hi. So last year I got to see all the stages on Miles' mom's milkweed, which was really cool. And I actually even got to hold a brand new butterfly that had just emerged from its chrysalis, from its um, 
chrysalis, yeah, like cocoon thing. And um, because it's like wings were kind of still wet, and so it just like sat on my finger for a little bit. It was so amazing, but I cannot wait to watch my caterpillars every day and like see them grow into little, you know, like cocoons and then come out as butterflies. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. And I'm definitely, definitely gonna be sharing it on the vlog. So don't you worry if you're also a butterfly fan. Um, yeah. Wow, that like made my day. I don't know if you guys can tell, you probably can because I'm a crazy person, but I am very excited about this. All right, so I'm making some good progress on my wedding album, but I wanted to kind of take a break and um, I thought I want, I was, excuse me, I thought I would go through kind of how I went about tackling uh, designing and making my own wedding album. I got a question on it in the comments the other day and I thought it would be really useful for anyone else out there who might be interested in making their own wedding album as well. So, um, as you guys know, I am using the website Artifact Uprising to make our wedding album, and so I knew I wanted one of their lay flat um, album options, and it just comes on really sturdy, um, like thick paper that, um, I don't know, it's just really nice. And so I knew, based on the way that they set up their website, that you get around, I think, 40 pages, which means 20 spreads um, as a base for that. You can add on additional pages, but obviously they charge you a little more. So I wanted to start off with the um, kind of the plan of using just those pages. I think I ended up adding one more spread um, after I kind of listed out all of my, play, you know, like my layout plans, and um, I realized I wanted one more. So, but anyways, to kind of give myself a starting point, I started with the idea that I was going to use those 20 spreads. So, um, I then basically listed out kind of the different categories that I knew I wanted to, um, like, um, not outline, but, you know, display in my wedding album. So, um, obviously the first look, the ceremony, the, you know, all of my details, like my gown and my, you know, uh, jewelry and just details from the day. Anyway, so I made a whole list of that and, um, uh, I guess I'll go through them now because, well, I'll go through them in one second. So after I had my list, um, then I have this little tiny, like, blank page kind of notebook thingy, and I went through, and on each page, I drew out one spread. So this is the first and second page of our album, and, um, so at first, here, let me show you one I haven't drawn in. Okay, so I started like this, where it's just completely two blank pages, and I labeled each spread what I wanted them to be. So I took the list that I made of all the categories I wanted to include, and then I kind of planned it out that way, and I had a certain flow to it. And again, I'll kind of get to that once I walk you through this little notebook thing. Um, and once I had each spread kind of designated, like this is gonna be my first look spread, then I went through all the pictures that I got from our wedding and like pulled out all of my first look pictures and then kind of narrowed it down to which pictures I wanted to include in the album. And doing that, I would kind of get a more general idea of how many pictures I wanted to include for that certain spread. So um, for some spreads, I just did one big picture. For some spreads, I did, you know, a picture on each page. So I would have two pictures. Some I ended up doing kind of like grid collages. So I would do like a three by three on one page, which means I have nine pictures on that page, and then like one picture on the other page for the spread. So basically, depending on how many pictures I ended up wanting to include in my album, I kind of designed the layout of each page based on that. So that was kind of my general process. Um, and so as far as my actual like plan and outline, if you're interested, um, this is what I have. So I didn't end up actually, for some of the spreads, I did go through and literally draw out how I wanted the pictures to kind of be displayed or a, an initial idea. Um, obviously these aren't set in stone and if I actually started designing them in the um, in Artifact Uprising's software, they have like their photo baking, photo making software on their website. I kind of tweaked a couple of things along the way. But anyways, I had a general outline for a lot of the spreads and I would draw them in there so I could kind of, you know, keep everything straight in my mind. So I thought I would kind of flip you through this. Again, I don't have all of the pages that I have designed drawn in here because I only have like two pages, like I keep saying, left to design and there's definitely way more than that left blank, but I'll still tell you guys what um, category design I have assigned for that spread. So 
Let's see, what, how can I do this easily? So you can see it and I can see it. I think that'll work best. All right, so my very first page is the venue portrait and I wanted a picture of uh, Miles and I standing in front of our venue. We got married in a historic mansion and so it was just this beautiful setting and so I definitely wanted to kind of open things up with like a nice um, setting shot like that. And next up I had our venue details and so this was going to be kind of different shots from around the grounds so um uh, like there's just like kind of detail shots around the mansion around the mansion grounds um there's a couple things I think I included like our invitation shots like a picture that the photographer took of our you know formal invitations all laid out and just kind of more general um details about our wedding on that page I'm still not happy with that page, so I think I might end up redoing it because I just don't like the way it looks, the way I have it now. But anyways, that's besides the point. Next page is my wedding details. And so I had a big full-length picture of my dress hanging on the hanger on this page. And then on this page, I had another grid of, again, like kind of a close-up of my, like my veil, my crown, my bouquet. Um, I had like my little something blue pearl that I had on my bouquet. Um my shoes and just kind of really pretty pictures of all those special little details that kind of went into my outfit and the next page i have see we're getting to these pages where i have designed them in the software but i just didn't draw them out um this is my getting ready page so i had pictures of like you know my makeup getting done um my mom helping me put on like my jewelry you know buttoning up my dress pictures like that so me getting ready you know at the beginning of the day and then the next two spreads I did the same but for miles so this is going to be miles detail shots again with um likely the same kind of setup I had for mine so a long shot of his suit hung up on the hanger and then pictures of like his shoes his um he wore some of his grandmother's jewelry um and stuff like that so that's what that page is going to be and then again, just like mine, I have the next spread as his getting ready pictures. So, um, uh, just pictures of what he did before, you know, getting ready, like tying his tie. Um, I have a really good picture of his, one of his groomsmen helping him on with his, um, suit jacket and pictures like that. Next is me opening my wedding gift. So Miles and I exchanged wedding gifts on the day of our wedding. And so we have some really pretty pictures of us each separately opening up the gifts from the other ones and reading the letters that we wrote to each other on our wedding day. So that spread is going to be me opening my wedding gift. And the next one is going to be Miles opening his wedding gift. And then I have a spread for the first look. You can see I outlined, I have one picture on this page and one picture on this page. I decided to do one picture right before the actual first look, so me tapping on his shoulder, and then another picture right after the first look, so kind of like, you know, we're both looking at each other immediately after the first look. And then I have a picture for, my, or a page spread for my uh, bridal portraits, so kind of the more formal, just, you know, an actual portrait of me in my dress all made up and ready for the day um, on th these two pages and then the next spread is um, portraits of Miles. After that I have a page for the ceremony decor so we got married in one of the formal gardens on the grounds of the mansion and so these pictures are just kind of like the floral floral arrangements we had decorating the ceremony space, um, our wedding arch, just the way that, you know, the chairs were set up outside before anyone was sitting in them. So this is all, you know, empty kind of um, the scene staging pictures. Um, after that, I have pictures for the actual ceremony. So, you know, with Miles and I up at the altar, altar with like, you know, our bridal parties on either side, like mid ceremony pictures from during that. And then I have a spread for our bridal parties. So I have a couple pictures of um, both Miles and I standing with all of our, um, you know, his groomsmen, my bridesmaids on either side of us. And then I also have some pictures of just like me with my bridesmaids and Miles with his groomsmen. Um, the next page is for family portraits. And so we have um, pictures of me and Miles with all of his, you know, his parents, his grandparents, and then us with my parents, my grandparents, and our siblings, obviously in both of each of those as well. And then I have a spread for couple portraits, so just pictures of me and Miles. Uh, we took a lot of like 
you know, pictures of us. And so picked a couple of my favorites for those pages of just, you know, us posing together. After that, I have reception decor. So all the um, decor that went into setting up like our tables. So I have, you know, pictures of our uh, place settings, our centerpieces, just kind of the room in general, our sweetheart table, stuff like that. Next up, I have a page for reception pictures, and that's the spread that I'm currently working on right now, and that's going to be a huge two-page um, grid collage of all the pictures from the reception, basically. So I think I'm going through the pictures now and pulling out the ones that I, you know, I'm going to start using and then narrowing down from there. And I think what I'm going to do is on this page, I'm going to have the more event-centered pictures. So from, like, our cake cutting, from our first dance, from my father-daughter dance, um... Uh, from like the speeches at the reception and stuff like that and have that be in a, one big collage over here and then over here I'm gonna have another big collage of kind of like all of our guests so lots from um, when everyone was dancing um, some of the guests just kind of like mingling during cocktail hour and stuff like that um, over on this page next up okay so yeah next up this is the last formal page of the album and this is going to be that sunset portrait so again it's kind of like mimicking the first picture of the album but this one is after the sun went down so it's a really cool like kind of dark moody backlit picture that I felt was a really nice bookend to end the album but then after that I do have one more fun spread that I have planned that is going to be our goofy pictures of the day so we have a lot of fun pictures that are just goofy and silly and they're not formal wedding pictures but I feel like they really really did a good job of kind of capturing the you know mood and spirit of the day and everyone just being goofy and having a good time and so I really really wanted to include those pictures so again I'm going to do a massive two-page grid collage spread of those pictures so yeah that's kind of my whole process I hope I did a good enough job of kind of like explaining and outlining what I did to help you if again if you're deciding if you want to build your own wedding album or not um I honestly think it was it's a lot of work it's not a small project but um for the amount of money, A, that we're saving making our own album, I think we ended up probably spending $150, I want to estimate. I don't remember exactly. You can look on Artifact Uprising's website to see how much. We got a 10 by 10 um, lay flat album is what we ended up going with um, for our album. And I think what we got quoted for our album from our photographer like if we actually had gone through George Street Photography which given the way that they handled everything else that they were responsible for for the wedding I'm so thankful we didn't because I think I would have ended up hating the album that they did I think they quoted us around like $500 or something extra on top of the you know photo video whatever we paid to have them taken for them to make our albums which is astronomical and I think that was like one of the less pricey options so yeah we saved a ton of money making this on our own and we're still going to end up with I honestly think a better quality album than we would have gotten through them so yeah thankful on all fronts plus I get creative control so I get to choose the exact pictures that are my favorite I get to you know choose how it's laid out and I I am the type of person I really do appreciate having that control um so yeah, I really like being able to design my own wedding album, put all the memories that I want included in, and yeah, so again, it's a lot of work, it's a big project, but I still do not regret making the decision to do this on my own. I'm really happy that I did, so um, yeah, I'm happy I'm putting in, you know, putting in the work, it kind of sucks, it's a little tedious at times, but um, it is fun, and like I said, I'm really glad that I'm going to have a fully personalized, amazing wedding album at the end of this that will... <laughs> just be so personal and meaningful to me. So there's all my thoughts. I'm going to stop rambling and get back to making my wedding album. <laughs> all right, we are sitting down to dinner and yet again, we are having spaghetti and meatballs. It's just a super easy meal and we already had the pasta made. So yeah, that's what we're going with. Miles ended up having to work more today than he thought he was going to. And so yeah, we're getting a little bit of a late start on dinner. Actually, it's not too late, but it was just too late to like make one of the more intense dinners that we have but that's okay because that just means that our grocery bill is gonna be that much cheaper because we have that many like we have two meals I think left over that we never cooked last week like we have a chicken one and then there's something else we were supposed to make we never made but um yeah anyways we are going to eat our spaghetti watch some scandal and relax for the evening all right guys are you ready for this <laughs> I don't think you're ready for this do you think they're ready I don't know I don't know it's pretty big news over here 
We have a white cabinet under the sink! I'm so excited. You're so awesome. Thank you for doing it. It looks so awesome. It like doesn't look real. Like it kind of looks like weird to me, but like in a really good and awesome way. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I know I've been talking about this nonstop for the last couple days, but you guys know how long we've been working on this kitchen and I'm so, it's done. I'm so excited. So it's kind of dirty right now, but you can still get kind of like an overview. Finished product. Woo! <laughs> and so now all we really need to do is we want to get a backsplash, but that's not going to happen for a while. But eventually we want to get a backsplash and eventually we want to replace these. I think we want like the gold bar, like handle type things. But yeah, for now the kitchen's done. I'm so excited. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think we're actually just going to end the vlog here because we're just going to watch another episode of Scandal and then go to bed. So I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Give it a thumbs up for a finished painted kitchen. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe down below to follow along with all of our other home decor and updates and renovations and all that fun stuff. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good night.